Considered the greatest living exponent of the Sarod, Mustafa Amjad Ali Khan has been playing the instrument since the age of six. At 77, he has played the Sarod now for over 70 years and continues to produce some astonishing work. Known for his ingenious interpretations of ragas, what sets Khan apart from other musicians is that he regards the audience as the soul of his motivation. That makes him a remarkably accessible virtuoso who, while maintaining the highest standards of musical excellence, also remains humble. After seven decades, the Sarod has become an extension of his being as well as a bridge to his personal spiritual bliss. Since 1974, Khan has created over 20 ragas of his own which lend his legacy a remarkable creative heft. Self-effacing to a fault, Ustad Amjad Ali Khan spoke to Mayang Shah reports during a visit to Chicago. At this stage, after over seven decades, yes. Sarod is not just your physical extension, it's your spiritual extension too. It's a blessing of God that I am born in the family of musicians and I belong to the world of sound. Because sound is the most transparent aspect uh, of God. Because I cannot manipulate through sound. Right. If I'm uh, if I am out of tune, uh, you will come to know. Correct. And only lang through language one can manipulate, and the whole world is manipulating. Some, you know, the political leaders, because of language, they lose the election because of the language, they win the election. So language, uh, you know, through language, you cannot understand the character of the person. Uh, everybody can talk very impressively. Everybody can use very high flown English and beautiful words. But sound, in our country, we say, Swar hi Ishwar hai. Indeed. It is a sound. So this, hum log meal bolte hai, this slides and glides, is a precious gift of God to Indian classical music. Nowhere else in the world, uh, they don't, uh, you know, get involved into slides and glides because you can't do notation of slides and glides. Right. The straight notes you can always write. You can write all these things. But the mean gamak, which we have technical words uh, in our music. So the point is, uh, as you mentioned about six years, I was pushed onto the stage when I was six years old. And that is the convention or tradition of of the family of musicians that a child is pushed on suli pe chadha dete hai jisko ji 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 chadha beta suli suli pe wo baat hai ha chadha suli pe chadha beta to it's a educational purpose i was not a child prodigy but uh, just to feel the stage feel the audience and uh, learn the etiquette manners how to behave on the stage how to do namaskar how to bow down and all those things it's a educational uh, so i i mean the journey my actual journey became uh, began when i was 12 years old i see the first big music festival in kolkata sadarang music festival 1958 mm -hmm. and uh, my father was also playing in that festival i was given morning slot with Ustad Karamatullah Khan, he was very famous tabla player at that time. And Pandit Shamta Prasad, Pandit Kishan Maharaj, Ustad Allah Rakha Khan sahab, they were the heroes of tabla. Absolutely, yeah. So, and every region of India, every region, especially Bengal, Maharashtra, South, they nurtured me, they encouraged me, and they made me, Amjad Ali Khan is created by India. How nice, how nice. 
uh, you know, it, it also strikes me just purely from a physical standpoint. A six-year-old child is picking up an instrument which is about 40 inches. Yes. Ab aapki shayad height hogi kuch char feet ke aspas. Aapka jo sarod jo hai, wo kareeb kareeb char feet hai. No, I was, uh, my, I was given a small sarod. Achha, there is a yes. smaller sarod. You see, every sarod is handmade. It's not a... We don't have a die or, um, you know, oh, uh, every, every instrument is handmade. Like my grandchildren now, they're 10 years old. Uh, they are twin brothers, Abir and Zohan. My younger son, Ayan, uh, he started teaching them during COVID time I because see. schools were closed. And uh, Ayan's wife, Nima Sharma, so they both gave to the grandchildren and they showed positive interest and they 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 have a smaller sarod also uh, specially made for them oh i see and finally very recently all five of us performed together uh, abir johan aman ayan me we did a five city tour in india i am grateful to kotak uh, Kotak and Prestige and, and 90th birthday uh, was celebrated of Dr. Pratap Reddy in Chennai and uh, Pritha Reddy, the chairperson, they were very kind, they invited us. So all five of us performed there and then Bangalore Prestige Group invited us, Kolkata and uh, Delhi and all the concerts were, you know, ticketed and sold out and this was a uh, this just to take blessings for Abir and Zohan because their career or their journey of music just began right so we completed five uh, five city tour but first concert what we performed was on the 9th of September in Delhi in the presence of vice president Mr. Dhankar right he was in the audience and Adani group, they were the sponsor, Preeti Adani was in the audience. And we performed only for 15 minutes. That was a function called Amazing Indians. There are Indians who did good job during COVID time. So they were receiving awards from Times of India and Vice President. And after two days, my grandson asked me, Dada Abba, ab hamara agla program kab hai? <laughs> <laughs> They enjoyed that, you right. know, people's blessings and encouragement. So I, I'm sure they need your blessings and hopefully one day we'll bring them to USA also. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, it's obvious, uh, Mr. Khan, that uh, you must have started your training earlier than six years old. Yes, what, yes. What, what are your memories of such an early training? You see, my father was a old timer. He was very, very old when I was born, 1945. Uh, my father's contemporaries were Pandit Ravi Shankar's guru and my father, they were contemporaries. I see. And uh, so my father was a like a fakir. I, I must share this incident with you that when he was receiving Padma Bhushan in 1960, he took me along to Rajpati Bhavan. And that was the first time I had the honor of meeting Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Dr. Radha Krishna, and all the great leaders. They were all there. So after the award, in fact, this story, Mr. Modi also narrated somewhere about my father. Uh, after the award ceremony, it's a convention that is a tea uh, at the Mughal garden. So first, Mr. Nehru comes to my father, Khan sahab, koi taklif to nahi hai, what can I do for you? Then Mr. Nehru looked at me and asked my father, kya bachche se koi guru mantra to nahi chupa rahe? So because Mr. Nehru had a tremendous sense of humor, so my father said, no, no, I'm trying to share everything with him. Then this is the punchline. Dr. Rajendra Prashad comes. Khan sahab, koi taklif to nahi hai aapko. What can I do for you? You know, 
we were living in a rented house we did not have car at that time so and in, in this kind of situation a musician uh, demands or appeal for a government accommodation or or a car or you know facilities or privileges but my father he was so committed to the purity of music he says khuda ka shukar hai i am grateful to god but please uh, save the purity of rag darbari oh that really? was my father's demand appeal and request and That's i was extraordinary. feeling embarrassed as a young man what my father is asking the president perhaps he did, he did not know what darbari is dr rajendra prasad was from bihar as you know he was barrister and very learned man knowledgeable very humble polite person so again he asked khan sahab mai samjha nahi my father again repeated the rag darbari kanhara was created by mia tansen and now people are taking liberty in this rag the it will lose its sanctity and purity so you be you being the president of india it is your duty that darbari's purity should be maintained poor fellow he was hoping as if next day he'll pass a resolution in the parliament <laughs> <laughs> that everybody should sing darbari so he was such a innocent saintly fakir uh, insan and he believed that one jeevan mein aap ek hi kaam kar sakte acha that was his very strong belief that you can only do one thing or understand one thing in one lifetime right so he was not he was not keen that i should go to school also so he invited teachers at home to teach me some hindi or english or whatever it is but finally uh, when we shifted from gwalior to delhi in 1957 then people persuaded my father and uh, requested him that schooling is very very important for a child so i was admitted to modern school in delhi uh, barakhamba road yeah but but my traveling you know people of india did not allow me to complete my school because i was invited by several music festivals all the time traveling and i was very fortunate that i had a principal like mr m n kapoor at, who who created modern school actually mm-hmm. and mathematics was my very 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 uh, poor uh, situation i i could not understand mathematics on the paper mm-hmm. but same mathematics i was using in music you know there you go yes like ari rhythm and everything you see we create castles in the air because music you can't see rhythm you can't see you can only feel music you can only feel rhythm you can't see rhythm so my father one day took me to my principal uh, mr kapoor and uh, requested him how to improve my mathematics कपूर साहब ने बोला खान साहब ये कभी मैथमेटिक्स में पास नहीं करेंगे और मैं इनको कभी फेल नहीं करूंगा बिकॉज ही हैज कम टू प्ले सरोद इन दिस वर्ल्ड अच्छा कैन यू इमेजिन एनी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एनी कंट्री नाउ बिकॉज एवरी प्रिंसिपल पुअर थिंग इज सो प्रेशराइज बाय द ट्रस्टीज बाय द यू नो प्रोपराइटर्स ऑफ द स्कूल सो एनी वे 1963 uh that was my first foreign tour i came to usa i see with a group of musicians and dancers pandit birju maharaj persuaded me and he used to play tabla with me i used to play with his dance so on the invitation of asia society new york so we came here and there were about two months concert tour you know there were dancers musicians and at that time there was a very famous television show called ed sullivan show indeed so indeed. we performed in that uh, television show also so that was the beginning that american people were realizing music and uh, <clears throat> and then slowly gradually then beatles time came right and the eagles and mr joe walsh and you know people and yahudi man with the great violin player he played a very important role to introduce pandit ravi shankar among the western right. audience right. and ravi shankar ji he he really he became a symbol of indian classical music 
It is indeed. You know, it strikes me, uh, uh, Ustad Sahib, uh, when I read about your style of playing, the words that I keep hearing are Sapartan, Zordar, Gamak, Achanak, Lar, Lapet. Yes. <laughs> these, these, are... <laughs> these are very technical words. I know, I know. So I was coming to that. Uh, because these are compliments, obviously. Uh, but see, at the same time, they are technical. The point is, Sarod... Uh, Sarod is a fretless instrument. Right. Sarod does not have, you know, frets like uh, sitar, guitar, mandolin. So it's a metal board, simple metal board, which has no sign, no fret, that where is re, where is ga, where is ba. And the most difficult part is that when I put fingers on the string, I, sitar, they are played, sitar is played with fingertip. But Sarod, to bring out the human expression, I have to use my fingernails. Oh. So when I was a young boy and uh, learning, practicing, listening, and they were great Sarod players at, uh, in every era. So I used to hear Sarod Sitar do it. It was becoming very popular at that time. So after listening to Sarod Sitar do it, I used to discuss with my father. Mm -hmm. I said, Sarod is very limited instrument. Uh, so my father said, why? I said, Sitar is doing all kind of fast uh, phrases and Sarod is, yani, ek hai, dusra pedal chal hai. <laughs> Itna farak tha, technically. So I said the sitar player is doing fast uh, phrases and the sarod is only doing da -da 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 -da. so and then my father used to say it is difficult instrument it doesn't have threads what do you want to do I said I want to sing through my instrument Achha. I want to bring out all the human expression on my sarod so you know fast sound like so it was not possible at that time so the in those days, Sarod player, this is the way they used to play. But I, with struggle, with a lot of hard work, I, I introduced a lot of complicated gamak. Then tan, it is called tan. So these kind of phrases were not played on the Sarod earlier. So, but in our field, people are very unkind to give you proper credit for this. So every, I mean, only my children, my disciple, they publicly might share what is my contribution to Sarod. But I'm grateful to God that I sing through my instrument. Exactly. I'm glad you mentioned that uh, because I unlike the sitar, Sarod is almost vocal, especially when you play it. Uh, and as, as you just mentioned, it was in many ways your contribution to the instrument. Uh, do I take it that you could have been a singer yourself? But uh... You see, because I, I learned singing in the I childhood, it's a, it's a done thing that the musician who is learning instrument, he should learn vocal music, he should learn tabla, so I became very fond of tabla and tabla, uh, I was so involved with tabla that my father got so worried that I might become only tabla player. So he hid the tabla for several months. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why, but tabla, I, I, I know what, I, I, I give so many young tabla players my helping hand because I knew who is doing what. So I'm interested in tabla and uh, and vocal music. I often in my concert, I sing also, uh, just to tell the audience or, or and to inform the audience that every song is has a lyrics and text and some story to convey, whether it is tumri, khayal, tappa, dhrupa, dhamar, whatever it is. 
So every song of the world, not only India, but every song has lyrics and text. But in 13th century, there was a Sufi saint, Hazrat Amir Khusro, who created Kavali, Kaul, Kalbana, many instruments, many new ragas. He started, created a style of singing. It's called Tarana. So Tarana doesn't deal with language. So he created a language of syllables, language of uh, music, Tana Tom Tadare Dirdirdani. So I have composed many Taranas uh, in different ragas, but this particular one is very interesting. It's uh, uh, Rag Bahar. I see. Tadare Dani, Tadare Dani, Tadani Dim Tana Tano, Tadare Dani, Tadani Dim Tana Tano, Tanum Tana Num Tadere Na, Tadere Na. Tadere <laughs> So this is a very interesting subject, it's called Tarana. Right. So otherwise, if you are singing a song to Western audience, you have to explain, oh my darling, where are you, when will you come? You know, it becomes too much to it is understand you see जी. you know आप आप इस बात के लिए भी मशहूर है आपकी ताल पे जबरदस्त पकड़ है because of tabla हाँ ये कब ये कब आपको हासिल हुआ ये तो भगवान ही हासिल भगवान का ही आशीर्वाद मिलता है बहुत सारे म्यूजिशियन हैं जिनकी लय इतनी अच्छी नहीं है well, they are into melody too much. So, some, some musician is more involved with melody, some musician right. is more involved in rhythm. But to balance, very, very uh, important that, you know, South Indian music you must have heard. Right. They call it Karnataka. But I, I don't feel comfortable to use these terms, Karnataka and Hindustani, as if South India is not Hindustan. Yeah. So I prefer to call it Indian classical music of South and Indian classical music of North. Right. But you must have seen every musician in South, while they are singing, they keep the tali while playing. So right. you know that DNA in the South Indian people, they are blessed with rhythm. And it goes, if you research on their DNA, on their history, the greatest mathematician, Right. Ramanujan yes. comes from South. Yeah. So that is in their DNA. So, but in North India, most of the North Indian musicians, uh, they try to balance. I mean, not too much rhythm, not too much melody, or some some went like Ustad Amir Khan Saab, yeah, Ustad Bade Gulam Ali Khan Saab, they were into more melody. So, <clears throat> but my most of my compositions which I created. You see, you must have heard every instrumentalist when they play, they say, Alab, Jor, Jala, Bilambit, Gad, Durud, Gad. It has become a convention. Right. You know, unfortunately, in our country, we blindly follow convention and we talk of tradition. Right. So, because there is a slight difference between tradition and convention. convention. Yes. And tradition allow innovation. Convention is a very unhealthy word which I don't respect. Lakir right. ka fakir. Ji, ji, bilkul. Ke mere baap dada karte the to mein bhi karu. Arre bhai, apne dimaag se soch le bhai, kuch. Aur vakt bhi to badalta hai na? Vakt badalta hai. Aur mera ye bhi kehta hai ke religious books jitne bhi hai, kisi bhi mazhab ki, darur padho. Lekin uske baad apna dimaag bhi use karo. Ke kya lena hai, kya nahi lena hai. To ye mera soch hai. Aur I believe because my father not only taught me music, but he taught me, showed me way of life. From the very beginning, he told me, all of us have a common God and we are the common race. Right. But in this 21st century, 
I felt the world will be very peaceful, full of harmony, full of peace. But we are still struggling on account of religion. We are killing each other. We are, uh, you know, the hate, education could not create compassion and kindness in a human being. Right. I mean, in 20th century, Russia and Ukraine is fighting. We are still yeah. greedy about the land. Yeah. You're not satisfied. Whatever land you have, please make it prosper. I hope in that land, I mean, every country should be sufficient enough to feed your own people. But in every country, there are people, they sleep without food, including India also. Yeah. So I'm grateful to Mr. Narendra Modi. He's trying to improve our countries and country situation. And uh, I hope, uh, I mean, we have great expectations from Mr. Narendra Modi. Right, right. Uh, I was asking you, do you play with your hands or with your hands? You asked me a very beautiful thing. Some people play with your hands, some people play with your hands. You play with your hands, I think. Because in our field, there are such people that are blindly following the guru. They are blindly following the guru. The whatever Guru said, and uh, they thought this is the end of the world. So, but if you are really blessed by the Guru, you create your own world. Right. I'm not a carbon copy of my father. Aman or Ayan, they are not carbon copy of Amjad Ali Khan. So they have created their own world. By listening to Aman, you will know that this is his approach of music. By listening to Ayan, his approach is different. But there are many musicians' family. They sound alike. Right. Whether vocalist or sarod player or sitar player, it's difficult to recognize whether father playing or son <laughs> playing or grandfather playing. Right, right. So that's not a, a great thing. I mean, it is very difficult to even copy somebody. But to have your own world, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bless because of blessings of God. Yeah. And... You will be surprised to know Mr. Dilip Kumar, you know, the legendary actor right. of our country. He was so involved in music and poetry and very cultured man. Very cultured, yes. First time when he heard me in Bangalore, there was a function where uh, uh, Saira Bano will give award to best dressed men and Mr. Dilip Kumar will give best dressed woman award. Hmm. And it, it was to raise funds. There was a police commissioner in Bangalore, Mr. Nizamuddin. His wife was Lakshmi, but she was disabled. So he used to bring in his arm, whenever whenever I performed in Bangalore, the Lakshmi will be on the front row and the husband will bring her there. So Rashmi Bhavi, I used to call her and she requested me to perform on that day because to raise funds for her organization, disabled organization. So I performed on that day. And in the interval, Dilip Saab came inside to have tea with me. And these words they said, he said, I have heard a lot of the words of comments are that you have given a different shape to Sarod. So only person who understand the technicalities or person who's involved in the growth of Sarod only care. Otherwise, bahut achha bajaya, bahut achha bajaya. very nice. So I'm sure the people of India uh, realized what I was trying to do and they encouraged me. Or I remember that Pandit Kumar Gandharv Ji Ek din hum, I was passing through Devas. He used to live in Devas. So my mother, my wife, Subhalakshmi ji. So suddenly we, I mean, it never happens nowadays that you visit somebody's house without information. But that was the Indian history that you right. could go to anybody's house at any time. <clears throat> so we just landed there and uh, I, we, we saw a lady how to explain in English. I saw a lady preparing uh, some food preparation and all that. So she suddenly went inside. 
and then kumar ji kumar gandharv ji appeared and she came uh and she his wife i am uh, forgetting her name she was equally great singer and while we were talking she she says khan sahab jab se aapne saroj bajana shuru kara hai maine saroj sunna shuru kar diya how that nice. was a great compliment <laughs> by yeah vasundhara uh, shayad naam tha unka vasundhara komkali so she if you hear kumar gandhav long playing records both of them used to sing bhajan right lagta tha ek hi awaaz se koi ga raha hai so because kumar ji did lot of research in folk music also hmm. so in our country the kind of love pandit bhimsen joshi received pandit kumar gandhar then pandit jasraj also right so this is what uh, classical musician in india uh, they are given a different kind of respect they, they are almost they are worshiped actually they are they are the, the people who uh, and i mean you can't there may be so many mishaps in our country but you can't deny the fact that ustad bismillah khan was created by india true ustad bilaid khan ustad allah rakha khan so in india you know classical musicians they are part of india absolutely you know it, it i have read that uh, and i have also seen many of your concert videos a stage comes during the playing when it seems as if you are in communion with your inner being yes uh how does that happen and how long has that been happening you see uh at present i am teaching in chicago university i do yes and yesterday we were having a jam session with the jazz musicians right and uh, there the teacher of jazz music mr michael uh, great guitar player so i was asking them what is the difference between indian classical music and jazz music because in jazz also they improvise indian music also be improvise but in jazz as i said earlier they they, they don't have that slides and glides what we have and european classical music because on 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 22nd when you come on I mean tomorrow. Right. Uh, my orchestral piece is called. Um, it's a Sarod concerto. It's called Samagam. Samagam is a Hindi word, as you know, the confluence of Gee. many cultures. So, on the request of Scottish Chamber Orchestra, I composed this orchestral piece, forty-five minutes piece. And uh, and earlier musicians, Indian musicians also, created compositions, but their approach is different. and my approach humble approach is slightly different so in western classical music you must have seen it's a role of three people composer conductor and performer right but in my field indian classical music i play the all the three role to, at the same time indeed yes sarod in my hand i am improvising i am performing and there are compositions i am playing so but i feel there is a conductor in some cosmic power hmm. he has the dhaga unke hath mein hai ji somebody is controlling me somebody is conducting me that but unfortunately i cannot perform identical concert next day right so if you are attending my concert it is specially tailored for you prepared for you i might play the same raga next day but the approach will be different the presentation will be different so that is good point or bad point of indian classical music you know but think about it over the last 70 years uh, mr khan the amount of different uh, subtle variations that you would have engaged in It, it's astonishing uh, i'm sure you can tell the difference between what you played 10 years ago 15 years ago to now the same rag like you pointed out would you be know, so very different yeah on my 75th birthday my grandchildren played something 
and it is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They presented a musical piece as a gift uh, to their grandfather. But sometime on my birthday, they called me, uh, the first time, they said, Dada Abba, you play when you were very young. I said, I can't play. Well. I said, that <laughs> was because of my, uh, what I did and when I was 25 years old, 40 years old, 50 years So according to the age, because I don't have to prove that I am still young. I can't, I don't want to fight with the age. Right. But because of the age, God grants you wisdom. Okay. At this age, what can you do? So the doors are opening. Right. Of every, if you listen to all my recordings, you will see when I was 18 years old, my first EP record was released. Kosi Kanra and Bageshwari and, uh, and people you know, people who were listening to Saro, they realized that somebody is trying to uh, trying to do something different. So uh, it's a challenge that what I did in mean, my young days now, Aman is playing, Ayan is playing. Mashallah, you can feel from their youth that right. all the difficult phrases, difficult composition. And one, one of my composition in Rag Mia Ki Manhar. So full of rhythm of beats and sa de da da de da 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 it's going off beat. Otherwise da 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 this is simple. Da din din da da din din da da din din da da din din da 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 so various kind of uh, compositions I have, because improv improvisation, alab, George, jhala, it goes away when the musician is dead. Right, right. What do you leave behind is a composition. Absolutely. Now, speaking of which, Khan Saab, uh, I, I'm curious why you didn't attempt your hand at uh, cinema music, because I can see that you would excel as much the way you are, the way you think about music. You see, there was a time people from all the region were rushing to Bombay. Right. Because Bombay was always a Jadu Nagri. Gee. That somebody becomes superstar overnight, somebody, you know, basically to earn quick money hmm. and to become famous or glamour, whatever you may call it. But you know, people from Kashmir, people from Jammu or UP or Bihar or everybody. Only Dilip Kumarji was from Peshawar. Yeah. <laughs> one day, I told some actor one day, uh, I said, "Your when you act on the street on the on the screen, I find some similarity between you and Dilip Saab." <laughs> and that fellow was not very humble. He says, my guru and Dilip Saab's guru was the same. As luck would have been when I was in the aircraft on the same day, Dilip Saab was sitting next to me. Achha. And after takeoff, we started talking. And I told him that I met so and so at the airport just now. And he said that your guru and his guru was the same person. Can I to guru Nita Koi? <laughs> he, he was the institution himself. Indeed. He says, I never went to any institution. I never had a guru. So, you know, there are people like that in our creative world. They don't want to give credit to the person. Right. He could have right. said, yes, I admire him. I follow him. Yeah. Or yeah. I, I... So anyway, what I was trying to say, uh, uh, Guldar Saab is the famous. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Bilkul. Guldar Saab made a documentary on me. I'm aware family, of that, yes. That uh, about one hour family. And in fact, recently I met somebody, uh, a prince of Ayodhya. Mm -hmm. 
I was, uh, there was a function, literature function in uh, a literary festival in Jaipur. So uh, in the evening there was a dinner and I met Prince of Ayodhya there. I said, what are you doing now? He said, I've just completed a book on Gulzar Sahab. And he said, Gulzar Sahab ko mene poocha ke aapki koi aisi baat hai jo rahe gai hai aapki life mein what, what you wanted to complete and you could not do. कहते हैं हाँ मैं अमजद अली खान साहब को हीरो बनाना चाहता था माशाल्लाह आपकी आपकी शुक्ल सूरत तो है बिल्कुल नहीं नहीं तो वो कहने लगे नहीं मैं ये कर नहीं पाया ये मेरी ख्वाहिश थी तो वहाँ कुछ और भी जर्नलिस्ट बैठे थे कहते हैं अभी भी क्या देर हुई है जी जी बिल्कुल एनीवे सो ही वाज वेरी काइंड गुलजार साहब उनके साथ काफी वक्त गुजारा और द पॉइंट जो मैं बोल रहा था जादू नगरी बॉम्बे के बारे में तो मैं मेरे फादर भी माय फादर वाज आल्सो वरिड एंड अफ्रेड दैट आई माइट लीव हिम एंड गो टू बॉम्बे व्हिच हैपेंड यू नो लॉट ऑफ यंगस्टर्स जस्ट वो भागना कहते थे उस जमाने में भाग गया लड़का जी तो भाग के लोग बॉम्बे पहुंचते थे <coughs> तो आई वॉज इन्वाइटेड टू परफॉर्म इन बॉम्बे in 1959 1950 60 by the classical organizations mm-hmm. aur wahan sabhi all the you know people from the film world nasha sahab opin nayar ji madan mohan ji rishikesh mukherjee and many great uh, legendary figures used to come to attend to my music but fortunately or unfortunately i never asked for any favor काम नहीं मांगा मैंने उनसे कोई ना ही मैं बॉम्बे में बसना भी नहीं चाहता था बिकॉज़ द क्लाइमेट ऑफ बॉम्बे डज नॉट सूट माय इंस्ट्रूमेंट ओ आई सी यू नो दिस ह्यूमिडिटी राइट राइट ऑल द स्ट्रिंग्स ऑल द मेटल प्लेट बिकम्स रस्टेड ओके एंड द बेली द स्किन ऑफ द सरो दैट इज आल्सो अफेक्टेड बाय ह्यूमिडिटी सो दैट इज टेक्निकल रीजंस बट आई कुड नॉट लीव माय फादर आई कुड नॉट लीव माय गुरु Okay. So I used to go every corner of India and come back soon to be around my guru and father. Okay. So Khuda ka shukar hai ki unki aakhir vakat tak seva ham log karte rahe. Acha. Ah, to to change gears a bit, I I would I'm very interested to know about your collaboration with the the famous American guitarist uh, Sharon Isbell. Uh, yes. Uh, I I was reading. Uh, she was a bit worried because she said. your style and her style may not match because you are a great improviser while she is necessarily not to uske bare mein kuch bataiye ki wo kaise collaboration hui she is a world famous guitarist right. great human being very very disciplined disciplined person even before covid she used to wear mask acha <laughs> <laughs> and during the performance also she doesn't uh, remove it Uh, so we have just completed a tour with her about 6 7 concerts calgary and seattle uh, many places we performed so for uh, guitar i had to compose the pieces i compose and once upon a time you know i was doing residency in indiana university uh, jacob school of music mm-hmm. and i found the student there guitar student and i told him whatever whatever i sang he could immediately write acha so he wrote everything and that we passed on to sharon is will so she reads the music she reads uh, one piece she plays with ayan then second piece with aman then all of us at the end three four all of us play together so we have done collaboration with uh, joe walsh also you know that eagle fame uh, uh, the album called prayers and uh, amazing rock and roll guitar and uh, he was very kind he and his wife marjorie uh, we were in la and at their residence and we met uh, uh, ringo star also one evening Achha. and he played drum <clears throat> and they they have a studio in their basement beautiful studio so we recorded there and uh, so you know it was a great uh, honor pleasure right. so collaboration is possible with any kind of musicians 
right. uh, with any kind of uh, a, like a duet in our country. I played duet with Ustad Bismillah Khan uh, two times only. So, but to play duet with a senior aged musician is very challenging, uh, very difficult because I was all the time worried that I should not do anything which will hurt him or uh, he will feel bad or insult him or something. So, but the, with the same age group is much more free. Uh, you can freely, you can do. Call true, true. But if you are playing with the senior person, then one has to be, according to Indian etiquette and tehzeeb, right. you have to be very careful. Right. You know, just last two or three questions, Mr. Yes. Khan. Jo makam Pandit Ravishankar ka sitar mein hai, wahi makam aap ka sarod mein hai. To ye ye aapko kab mahsus hone laga ki aap jis jis padao se guzar rahe hain apni apni journey ke dauran that you you're acquiring a certain stature which is obviously above a lot of else. Do, do you do you ever become conscious of where you stand now as a, as a player? Dekhi mukam to khuda hi banata hai, bhagwan banata hai aur aap log realize karte hain. Hame hum we are just a traveler. We are just doing our duty, we are just performing, we are thinking to do something different than the rest of the people. So I'm very happy that this Samagam, what you are going to hear tomorrow, this was being performed in Delhi. Right. One day, I think Vice President was Mr. Ansari at that time. He was in the audience, Mr. Shomnath Chatterjee was in the audience, and I was so uh, felt so honored and happy that Pandit Ravi Shankar also came to attend Samagam. So this this needs a lot of uh, big heart. It shows your, uh, you know, he did something. He, he He's the first person who got involved into Western classical music and jazz music and all that. So, and we, I don't know whether you have uh, seen, I have written a book on 12 I'm great not, musicians. I'm aware of that. Yes. It's called Master on Masters. The co first copy I gave it to Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi ji. So these are 12 great musicians who have just passed away, including Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Bismillah Khan. And I feel suddenly I, f I felt the vacuum that because all the time they were around me, I was in a festival, Bhim Sen ji ga rahe, Kumar ji ga rahe, yes. Jasraj ji ga rahe. And so that made me, because histor historically, no musician ever wrote on any other musician. <laughs> right. right, that's true. It was always on your father, on your guru, on your bhen or bhai and all those things. But I think this was uh, order of the God Almighty, of blessings that I could perform this role, that these 12 musicians I had, because I had a personal interaction Personal, personal equation that they came to my house, I went to their house, and we could discuss music. So uh, I always feel that we are unemployed ambassadors of India. <laughs> so we we are when we are traveling, Aman and my wife Sublakshmi ji. So we are like we feel as if we are on duty, and. हम जब स्टेज पर आते हैं तो हमारे दिमाग में यह बात आती है कि भाई हम दुनिया को आनंद देने आए हैं तकलीफ देने नहीं आए हैं तो बहुत सारे हमारे ऐसे फेलो म्यूजिशियंस हैं जो स्टेज पर आके सिखाना चाहते हैं कि इंडियन म्यूजिक क्या है अप्रोच इज डिफरेंट राइट राइट यू सी टू बी कॉल्ड अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिक यू विल हैव टू थिंक 100 टाइम्स that who would you call a representative for Indian classical music? They are all great musicians in our country, but somebody singing or performing, they lose track of time. You must have seen that. I have, yes. So one has to be, a sense of proportion is very, very important. That we have to, while performing, we must finish when people, log just, log, yeah. But I, I feel that, you know, 
the present war, you know, Russia, Ukraine, or anywhere in the world, wherever is there is war, I feel very sad. I am praying to God, this war, the whole world should be peaceful, harmony. Because music does not belong to any religion. Like flowers, air, water, fire, fragrance, colors, they don't belong to any religion. And how can a PhD become communal? I always, <laughs> yeah. you know, right. how can PhD become radical? So right. this racial problem, this hatred, I think there is something wrong in our education system. And after our independence in India, everybody wanted to be educated. Every so many, even the musicians became P, BA and PhD and MA. They, right. they, they, they were lost as musicians because they gave time to books and they became musicologists. So there are so many right. music, musicologists in the world. So we need more. I, I, I was very happy to see your film on Gandhi. After Deki, I saw that. I Are, saw. I was. <laughs> Uh, I saw because, that. Because after Vaishnav Janto hit me feelings of Bajaya. Yeah, my favorite. And I'm very fortunate that on on that uh, that yeah, the hundred years. Uh, right. Oh, uh, ji, ji, wo. Wo ashram mein ba, ba, uh -huh. Kya hai wo naam? Gandhi Ashram. Sabarmati 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 Ashram. Mr. Sunil Dutt had come to request me achha, achha, achha. that I should be going there. So all the government people were there and uh, uh, we played so on so many occasions. Yeah. When Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji as a prime minister came to, uh, during that time he came to Africa. <laughs> so Durban and all those places where Mahatma Gandhi was connected. So at that time also we performed Vaishnav Janto and Ram Dhun. You know, because... Oh, this nice. was the first time Vaishnav Janto and Ramdhun. I am the first Sarot player who played that. I, I'm aware of that. Yes. I'm aware of that. And I feel very very connected with uh, our Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi yes. and all the freedom fighters of our country. Right. Every time. And Martin Luther King. You know, we shall overcome. I have played several yes. times in the Sarot. Yes. So I I want to see world united. I want to see people happy. And why are we still fighting on account of religion? We must, uh, if we can't help each other, please don't rise to. Bilkul. I often say about Pakistan and India. If you can't help, it's OK. But yeah. don't try to destroy each other. Right. Because we are neighbors, or whichever neighbors we all have, Sri Lanka or Bhutan or whatever right. we have around. So, I mean, we must create a beautiful world for our younger generation. Uh, uh, so, uh, our younger generation, we must help them uh, that they should realize the unity and diversity of our India and our culture. Right. Because, you know, sometimes people ask me that who make my sarod? Amjad Ali Khan plays a role, but who makes my sarod? My sarod maker is Mr. Hemendra Chandra Sen. Achha. He just passed away. Uh, he was called Heman Babu in, from mm -hmm. Kolkata. So this is the character of our country. Absolutely, yes. Kapla Banares mein saadi koon banata hai, penta koon hai. Humare table kursi koon banata hai, aur koon hai. Baita koon hai, ji. So ye... We, every Indian, we depend on each other. Right. This dependentness is our, it, it's like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, yeah. So, this is our one thing, our one thing, this is our one thing, this is our one thing, and that is the only way. Because India was always weak to achieve something collectively. Right. And that is the reason we could not create a good orchestra in our country. Yeah. Britishers ruled for 200 years. We learned everything. We copied them everything. But every Indian wants to be a solo musician. There was yeah. never an orchestra in our country. Right. So I'm very happy that 
Maestro Air Rahman, uh, he is a very talented, very gifted musician. He has uh, created orchestra. He has some sixth sense yeah. of composing orchestra, and he's doing very well. Uh, you know, in Chennai, he has an institution. I just visited. Rahman Asha. invited me for his. Uh, he was very devoted to his mother. She passed away, so we all performed there, and uh, uh, he's a Absolutely, very, very highly talented and gifted musician. Right. Yeah. Khan Saab, Jate Jate, I Aapki Rai Janna Chahunga on uh, Ustad uh, Ali Akbar Khan. I had interviewed him in San Rafael about 23, 24 years ago. Yes. And I have said this question that I have said that you are from the heart or the mind. Yes. He also asked him. He said that he was laughing at the first time. Yes. Uh -huh. फिर उन्होंने कहा कि बस बच जाता है hmm. पता नहीं कैसे बच जाता है व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ अली अकबर खान का आर्टिस्ट्री यू सी अली अकबर खान साहब आई आई टू कॉल हिम दादा लाइक एल्डर ब्रदर राइट बिकॉज़ हिज फादर एंड माय फादर दे वर कंटेम्पोरेरीज अच्छा एंड दे बोथ लर्न फ्रॉम द सेम टीचर ओके सो दिस इज आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग that Alauddin Khan Sahib was born in East Pakistan, right, uh, which is now Bangladesh. But he died in Mahir, the Madhya Pradesh. And my father was born in Gwalior. He died in Delhi. Okay. But both have, uh, you know, mutual respect for each other. Alauddin Khan Sahib came to Gwalior to our house to meet my father. Because Alauddin Khan Sahib Sarod Guru was Ahmad Ali Khan, Achha. who learned Sarod from our family. I see. So there was a deep rooted relationship. Okay. And Ali Akbar Khan Sahib Sarod did not sound like his father. Right. So he was a gifted Sarod player, that right. he created his own style. His style of playing was different than his father. And there were other Sarod players also earlier. So anybody who creates their own identity uh, is a, it becomes a history then. Right, right. It's exactly 11 o'clock, Khan Saab. Main aapko, uh, I know you have to go somewhere. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. I will meet you Ashok. Ke yes, yes, yes. Ashok yeah. I was really happy to see your Mahatma Gandhi's film. Are, I'm so and, happy. And Tushar Gandhi, what he spoke, okay. and other people uh, who ever spoke yeah. in this. So he was, I mean, I feel so proud that Mahatma Gandhi has become a symbol of peace. And the whole world has realized, and even now realizing day by day. G, G. Because whenever I visit in universities, because I did residency in Stan Stanford, Indiana, Washington University. Uh, York University in England. So the youngsters, they remember and with great uh, love and respect, they remember Mahatma Gandhi. So I am proud to be Indian and I hope in my next birth also, Are. I am born in India. I must share one last uh, incident. Uh, I don't want to mention uh, the name of the musician, very, very famous and great musician, uh, sitar player. Achha. He and me, we went to Rome to attend International Poets Conference. It was in, I think, 80s. Achha. Organizer was Italian and he comes to me. He said, what should I address you before your name? I said, yes, I'm Amjad Ali Khan. He says, no, no, I must write something uh, legendary or wizard or virtuoso. I said, no, no, let Italian people uh, first understand my name. Later, <laughs> all these things can be followed. He says, no, because it is my condition with the other musician, Indian musician, that I have to give him so much money and what has to be written before his name. Oh. I said, what did he want? He said, he, he wanted me to write musicians of the century. <laughs> So instinctive reaction was that I have to double century. Yes, yes, absolutely. But 
मैं उनकी इज्जत करता था और उनको बड़ा भाई मानता था इसलिए मैंने मैंने कहा भाई ठीक है उनको आप म्यूजिशियन ऑफ सेंचुरी या डबल सेंचुरी जो भी लिखना है लिखो तो मेरे साथ मेरी वाइफ और मेरे तबला प्लेयर जो भी थे सब सब ने अपना अपना ओपिनियन दिया मैंने कहा नहीं ये लिखो कि मोस्ट लव्ड म्यूजिशियन ऑफ इंडिया तो ये मेरा बैंक बैलेंस मेरी लाइफ का यही है कि लोगों का प्यार मोहब्बत और इज्जत सरकार ने भी बहुत कुछ दिया है देशवासियों ने बहुत कुछ दिया है तो ये प्यार मोहब्बत का ही मेरा बैंक बैलेंस है और यही मेरी कमाई है और यही सबसे बड़ा अवॉर्ड है अच्छा खान साहब जाते जाते मैं एक आखिरी सवाल ये करना चाहता था कि आप इतने हैंडसम क्यों हैं अरे ये आपकी मोहब्बत है आपका जर्रा नवाजी है अरे जर्रा अगर आप जर्रा है तो हम तो क्या हुए भाई नहीं नहीं ये सब ये भगवान की कृपा है और ये मौसीकी जो म्यूजिक है आपको पता ही है कि मेडिकल वर्ल्ड इज यूजिंग म्यूजिक एज ए थेरेपी अपीलिंग म्यूजिक से प्लांट्स दे ग्रो फास्ट कैटल्स गिव मोर मिल्क और बीमारियां ठीक होती हैं तो ये राग रागनी नहीं मुझे संभाला हुआ है और सिरों की वजह से ही है जो कुछ भी है आई एम हम्बल डिवोटी एंड सेवक ताबेदार खादिम मौसीकी का मैं गुलाम हूँ ताबेदार